Okay, so this video will be explaining about subtopics 9.3, which is about preparation of carbonyl compounds. Basically, we have three ways untuk kita prepare carbonyl compounds. Yang pertama, melalui cara ozonolysis of alkenes. You boleh rujuk ni dekat subtopik 5.2. Alkenes ada dekat ujung-ujung belakang tu pasal ozonolysis of alkenes. Yang kedua, melalui cara Friedel-Crafts acylation. Okay, you boleh rujuk uh, pasal ni dekat chemical reaction of benzene dekat chapter 6. And also, yang ketiga adalah melalui cara oxidation of alcohol. So, you pun boleh rujuk about this at chapter 8 alcohol. So, okay. Alright, since we have learned about ozonolysis of alkenes uh, dekat satu topik 5.2 ni, um, so basically kita nak recall sahaja ya, uh, kalau ozonolysis of alkene ni kita akan menggunakan alkene sebagai dia punya reactant. Reagent ada dua, yang pertama ozon, yang kedua zinc H+. Okay, and then nanti kita hanya akan buat oxidative cleavage kat tengah-tengah ni ya. So, bila dia buat oxidative cleavage, kita akan belah terus letak oksigen. Okay, macam mana belah letak oksigen? Belah letak oksigen. Sebab tu dia akan dapat dua produk karbonil kat sini. Okay, it can be ketone, it can be aldehyde. It's, it, it depends on what type of alkene yang you dapat. For example, as you can see here, uh, kalau let's say you nak buat ozonolysis of alkene yang melibatkan uh, this kind of alkene, kita hanya akan buat oxidative cleavage. Kita akan belah sahaja the carbon carbon bond here. Belah, lepas tu letak oksigen. So, kita akan dapat dua produk kat sini. Bila kita belah ni, kita letak oksigen, kita akan dapat CH3, C double bond O, CH3. This is actually a ketone. Okay, and then untuk belah kanan ni pula, bila kita belah, kita letak oksigen, kita akan dapat uh, H, C double bond O, CH3, which is, we know that this is aldehyde. Alright? Okay, kalau you dapat cyclic compound alkin macam ni, ataupun cycloalkin, okay, macam mana bila you nak buat ozonolysis dia ni, sama je, you belah, you letak oksigen, okay. So, bila belah, letak oksigen, uh, kita akan dapat something like this, okay. This is a carbonyl compound sana ni. Cuma nak tahu dia ketone ke aldehyde. Okay, you kembangkan lah. You letak carbon kat sini. Ya, kita letak carbon kat belah kiri dengan belah kanan ni. Okay, lepas tu kita tahu kat carbon ni kena ada 4 covalent bond. Since that uh, this carbon ada 1, 2, 3 covalent bond. Kirinya covalent bond yang keempat is with hydrogen atom. Same goes to this carbon atom juga. Dia ada tiga covalent bond. Kiranya covalent bond yang keempat is with hydrogen atom. Okay. So kat sini dia, kita akan dapatlah dua carbonyl compounds kat sini which jenis carbonyl compound dia adalah sama sahaja aldehyde sebab C double bond OH kan. Uh, tapi bila you nak expand kan nak buka dia punya cyclic compound ni boleh je Ah, uh, itu list something like this. Okay, ha, dia still sama. Kita kat sini ada satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam carbon. So kalau tengok kat sini pun ada satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam carbon. Okay, kat carbon nombor satu ada aldehyde C double bond OH. Carbon nombor enam ada aldehyde C double bond OH. Yang selebihnya, you hanya completekan sahaja dia punya bilangan covalent bond of the carbon atoms which kalau let's say this carbon, dia mestilah ada dua hydrogen atoms. Same goes to each of these carbon atoms here. Ni pun ada dua hydrogen atom, dua hydrogen atom, dua hydrogen atom. So, bila kita buka sahaja di cyclic compound, it's going to be something like this. Okay? Okay, next you pun boleh prepare carbon compounds melalui Friedel-Crafts acylation. We have learned this at chapter 6 benzene. Kita tahu benzene boleh buat empat jenis chemical reactions tapi one of it uh, boleh menghasilkan carbon compounds uh, by using benzene as the reactant. Reagent have to be acyl chloride and also acid catalyst ALCl3 nanti kita akan dapat aromatic ketone okey uh, sebabnya kita akan buat substitution you need to remember what we are doing here ialah kita buat the type of reaction here is uh, aromatic uh, substitution okey 
electrophilic aromatic substitution. Kenapa electrophilic? Sebab benzene ring, okay, this benzene ring adalah uh, nucleophilic side. Okay, since dia buat substitution, therefore kita akan substitute mana-mana hydrogen atoms dekat this benzene ring bersamakan dengan RC double bond O. Okay, dekat this acyl chloride. So, kiranya kita hanya akan substitute this H with this C double bond O. Okay. Uh, sebab itulah kita akan dapat nanti sebagai produk adalah aromatic ketone di mana C double bond O ni adalah carbonyl compound. Carbonyl punya functional group. So, that will make this aromatic ketone as carbonyl compound. Okay. So, for example, kalau you ada jenis acyl chloride macam ni, react dengan benzene with the presence of acid catalyst, what we look at ialah, okay, kita akan substitute mana-mana hydrogen atom dekat benzene ni bersama dengan C double bond O this benzene, okay. Kita akan substitute dia dengan with this one. Uh, and then mana-mana hydrogen atom here lah therefore kita akan dapat this kind of product okay for example i nak substitute substitute dengan um, hydrogen atom dekat sini tak ada masalah asalkan you substitute satu hydrogen dengan this c double bond o uh, and with this benzene ring okay so that's why you dapatlah you punya organic compound bentuk macam ni so this is carbonyl compound uh, jenis ketone Sebab C double bond O ni kat tengah-tengah, okay? Lastly, kita boleh dapat carbonyl compound melalui oxidation of alcohols, okay? You boleh rujuk baliklah dekat chapter 8 ni, uh, dia terangkan pasal oxidation of alcohol di mana uh, kalau let's say kita oxidizekan primary alcohol with a weak oxidizing agent such as PCC in CH2Cl2, kita akan terus dapat aldehyde, okay? Another way of getting a carbonyl compound jenis ketone nanti kita akan tengok di next slide lah di mana secondary alcohol dia react dengan uh, strong oxidizing agent dia akan terus dapat ketone. So for example, uh, if you have this uh, uh, as a primary alcohol, you kalau let's say you have primary alcohol and then you react kan dengan weak oxidizing agent such as PCC in CH2Cl2, therefore you akan dapat carbonyl compound jenis aldehyde. Basically you just buang H2OH ni, you gantikan dengan C double bond OH, dapatlah aldehyde. Next, kalau you nak dapatkan ketone melalui secondary alcohol pula, you have to react it with a strong oxidizing agent such as um, heated acidified KMnO4 ke, heated acidified K2Cr2O7 or heated acidified Na2Cr2O7. Mana-mana with this uh, reagent, oxidizing agent yang strong, uh, bila dia react dengan secondary alcohol, akan terus dapat ketone. For example, as you can see here, this is actually a secondary alcohol. So, bila dia reactkan dengan strong oxidizing agent, in this case, dia gunakan uh, heated acidified KMnO4 solution. So, kita terus gantikan HOH ni dengan double bond. Oh, dapatlah carbonyl compound jenis ketone.